In this video, I'm going to make a rotating hub to mount a propeller to the wall. I made the propeller in my last video. I wasn't going to film this, but a few supporters on Patreon said they'd like to see it. And even if you don't need a spinning hub thingy, then stick with it because there's some interesting elements to it and I'm sure you'll pick something up out of the video. I'll make the body of it out of plywood. It'll be a cone shape, so I'll cut a few circles out decreasing in size. I had no definite plan on shape or size, so I was just making it up as I went. They don't need to be perfect as I'll turn them down on the lathe later on. Next I drilled a small hole in the centre to help line the discs up when I glued them together. I'll put the top and bottom disc aside and then glue the three centre discs together. I was sent these Pony Jorgensen clamps from Timbercon. They really are an excellent clamp and very good quality. If you're looking for new clamps, I'll put a link in the description. While that's drying, I'll cut holes in the top and bottom layer and that's to house a bearing. The outside diameter of the bearings is 72 millimeters and the closest hole saw I have is 73 millimeters, but I think that's close enough that I should be able to make it work. The teeth were clogging so I needed to clear them and whenever I use a hole saw in wood I drill halfway from one side and then finish from the other. That way the plug isn't buried deep into the hole saw and you have enough left to grab to remove it. Even though the bearings were a millimetre smaller because the inside of the holes were a bit furry they actually fitted pretty well. Now I need to drill a hole through the laminated piece and this just needs to have clearance for the shaft that I'll be using and the inner race of the bearing and to do that I use the 50mm Forstner bit. Next I'll attach the bottom disc and I'll centre it by eye using the rings on the bearing to help me line it up. I'm holding it tight together while flipping it over and clamping it down making sure it doesn't move. I could have glued it but I decided to just fix it with screws. And you should be able to see the orange seal on the bearing is pretty well centred to the hole. I need to sink the bearing a little deeper and that's to accommodate a washer and screw head as well as the bearing into the recess. Next I'll work on the shaft. The inside diameter of the bearing is 35mm and the shaft is slightly over that by about 02 of a millimeter, just enough to stop it going on. This doesn't need to be super precise so I'll take it down a touch with the angle grinder and I do actually have a lathe now but I haven't had a chance to set it up and that would have been a better way to do it. I also use the jig with skateboard bearings from balancing my propeller to sit the bar on which worked out great. It's actually very tough steel, it's EN32 and I'm only using it as it's the perfect size and I already have it. Now I'm centering the small top disc and fixing it in place just like how I did the bottom one. Thank you. 
and then I made one more disc to go on top and that's to secure the bearing. Before I turn the plywood on the lathe, I'll work on fitting the shaft and securing it to the hub. On the one end, I'll drill and tap a hole for a screw, and that's why I routed out the recess a bit deeper on the bottom of the hub earlier on. That secured it from the bottom, now I need to secure it from the top and for that I'll make a collar. I have this scrap piece of steel which has a 35mm hole already drilled in it. It's from making my small clamps that I recently made a video of. Anyway, it just needs grinding into a ring, but before I do that it needs holes drilling and tapping for a couple of grub screws to secure it to the shaft. I'll mark where the holes are, then drill a small divot for the grub screws to seat into, which should really secure the collar in place. I made the grub screws off camera, taking an M6 bolt, cutting a piece off and then cutting a slot in with a hacksaw. The last part of the shaft is two circle plates and they'll be to attach the propeller to the hub. I made the first one off camera so now I need to make the second one which will be identical. To round it off, I've put this simple setup together on the belt grinder. It's just a nail in a piece of plywood and I'll adjust it by moving the table in towards the grinder. The disc is getting hot, so to avoid having to stop the grinder to cool it down in water, I'm using a couple of magnets to turn it instead. Next I'll drill a bolt hole pattern to match that of the propeller. On the propeller I mark the holes out manually but I'm going to try out the feature for this on my milling machine's DRO. First I set the plane of the disc and it's flat on the table so that's the X and the Y. Then the center position, the diameter of the hole, the number of holes, the start angle and the end angle and now it's telling me to move the table using these coordinates. When it's in the correct position, the X and Y will be at zero and I can drill hole number one. When hole number one's drilled, I can move on to hole number two and then so on. That worked fantastic, what a great feature and it was super easy to do.
Now I'll drill a 35 millimeter center hole for the shaft to go through. And I just bought this annular cutter to maybe make some more clamps. And it just happens to be the same diameter. That's a huge improvement over using a hole saw. Now I'll weld one of the discs to the shaft. This was the first disc I made off camera and you can probably see markings on it. I did mark it out manually, but then I decided to ignore those and use the bolt pattern feature on the DRO instead. And I'm glad I did. That's all looking good, so now I'll put it on the lathe and turn it down into a cone. I'll use one of the plugs from the hole saw to help center the mountain ring. It won't be 100% perfect, but it'll be close enough. Plywood isn't the easiest thing to turn and it took a fair amount of sanding but overall it went pretty well. To prevent the bearings from moving side to side I'll put a few dabs of 5 minute epoxy around the edges of the recess. It's not so much to hold them in, it's just to bed them in place. To fix it to the wall I'll use a couple of batten screws and I'll use the holes I already have from mounting it to the lathe and I'll just drill those out slightly bigger. I'll fix it from the other side of the wall and I got Bradley to help me out. And there it is, it was a bit of a strange project, but as I was making it anyway, I thought I should film it and hopefully there was something there you found useful and something you can take away from the video, even if you don't need to make a spinning hub. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.